production for the show. Um, you know, you, you see a guy who, with children, was phenomenal. I mean, he he would go to children's hospitals, uh, obviously from his own experience and losing losing his um, his two brothers and then later his sister to cystic fibrosis. Here was a man who was very caring yep. and and just. People said when he got around kids, he was so, so um, attentive to them and and um, just, you know, a different person. And so you, you, I think you always have to put into context, as much as we hear about the partying and all that stuff, you know, there's more of a human being than right. just that persona, than the actor, than the football player. And I think it's important that we represent that. And that's one of the reasons we want to talk about, talk to, talk about it with Steve uh, as well. And we have a caller on the line now, Audrey, who wants to talk about John Matuzak. Audrey, welcome to Silver and Black today. Thank you, and thank you for the lovely things you're saying. I, I hope you know the good side of John like I did. I'm going to cry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to do that. That's okay. My son loved children. <laughs> he was a good guy. There were two Johns, the good, the bad, and the ugly. And... Uh, I love my son with all my heart. Well, well, uh, Miss Matuzak, I, I want to thank you for calling in, and I know I'm sorry. I know those wounds. Uh, being a father uh, of five children myself, um, you know, I know the. And, and my wife lost her sister when she was young, and her parents. You know, when you lose a child, doesn't matter what age, uh, you don't, you don't ever. Uh, it doesn't go away. It's always with you. And um, you know, I was, I was honored to to learn about your son and to know about the good things that he had done too, because we do, we hear a lot about, of course, the persona, right? The twos, but, um, you know, the story about, about one of your son's passing and, and him buying the shoes and all of that, it shows the heart. It shows. Uh, I've got to tell you another good story. Okay, great. He told his sister that had cystic fibrosis that if she, if he made it big in the NFL or any place, he would send her anywhere in the world, and if he didn't, he was going to take her to a little park to play. And when she turned 16, when she turned 16, my other daughter, Karen, was married and lived in Panama, and he sent Dawn because she wanted to go to Panama to see her sister. <laughs> wow. Well, and... and <laughs> go ahead, sorry. Go ahead. No, I was going to say, I, you know, your, your, your son, uh, and again, I... I in, in reading about him and, and, and the upbringing and what you all went through as a family, um, was, was it hard for him uh, as he got older? Was, was the, the, having lost his brothers and then his sister, was, was that something that maybe... No, his sister died after... John, after he passed. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So when, 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 when his brothers passed, at a very, both at very early ages, of course... Um, well, you know, he, he was so disappointed because... Uh, the first boy, Christopher, was a twin to my daughter, Christine, uh, and he felt chipped because he wanted a little brother so bad. Yeah. Wow. And is that, but is that something that you think, was it, was it something that the pain from that, uh, that I know you and your whole family dealt with, was the pain from that something that you feel contributed to him masking it with those things like alcohol and, and whatnot? Most definitely. Um, John would walk into a room, I'm, I swear to you, and it was like he took over the room. He was like a magnet. But <laughs> when he was bad, he was really, really bad. And I think it was because he, in his mind, he's always like, why am I still alive? And they're not. Yeah. yeah. It, was, it really bothered him a lot. And I don't know. how close he was to the niece. You know, and even his nieces and nephews, he'd have his niece and his three nephews out and, you know, about buying toys, doing something with them. <clears throat> and somebody would say, hey, John, are those your kids? He said, you bet. He never <laughs> said they were his nephews and niece. <clears throat> and he adored them all. And he, he, he just brought them out to California. They did things together. He loved his sisters, you know. And there's so many good parts of him that you, you can't explain it because people see this. And he had this facade. He had to be a raider. He had to be tough. He had to, sure. you know, it was a part of his, uh, it was part of his show. Yeah. Well, and, and, and he was. I mean, as a football player, as an actor, of course, uh, an entertainer. And so I understand that. And, and uh, but, but today, you know, I think that we live in a different time, right, where uh, men's, men's mental health is still an issue. Uh, but to be able to deal with 
those issues. Um, it's it's unfortunate that that he wasn't able to. But we we wanted to make sure that we remembered some of those positive things as well. And we certainly appreciate you calling oh, in and to I share appreciate those. your story. I, I love it. I'm not complaining about any of it. Oh no, it's no. True. Yeah, no, no, and I, I appreciate that, uh, Ms. Matuzak, and, and I would love, uh, if you could, uh, David, our engineer, uh, will, as I, as I say goodbye to you, I just want to get your number, if that's okay with you, because I'd like to call you, because um, we, we want to do a story for our website, too, about John, and I'd love to talk to you a little bit more in depth on that for that. Um, are you asking my mom for her phone number? This is Karen, her, oh. her daughter. Hi, Karen. Hi. Yeah, we will. Uh, I'll, I'll I'll put you on the line with our engineer, and if there's a, just a way to contact her, that would be great. Whatever whatever you're comfortable with, we appreciate it. Okay, sure, that's fine. Okay, thank you guys for calling in. Please uh, give your mother my best. Thank you. Thank you. All right, uh, there you have it. Uh, a surprise guest, uh, Audrey Matuzak, John Matuzak's mother. It's powerful stuff. It was, uh, and and she was obviously listening to the show and listening to Steve Delson. Uh, come on and talk about that. But again, you know, as I was saying, you know, uh, 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 there's more to a man than just uh, the the explosive and the mistakes. We all make mistakes. We all do things. Uh, but there's two sides to every person. Like but-